Hey Taurus, TT is here with a channel message for all of my Taurians. If you guys are new, welcome to our love nest over here on Talk Taurus Tarot. And if you're returning, welcome back, you guys. This message is going to be specifically for those of you that are... Okay, I'm back. If you're dealing with something specific or you're in this frequency of like being extremely irritated, some of y'all, you may be dealing with a... Um... A very nosy I must say like a nosy masculine energy it doesn't matter if they're feminine if they're male or female they're in their masculine energy so either this is you or someone that you're dealing with some of you guys this could be a father figure in your life there's something about this energy that's surrounding you or that keeps trying to come into your auric field may tend to ignore your boundaries and it gets your energy all off okay yeah hidden motives something about your energy or your frequency dropping around a particular person and when that happens it makes it very difficult for you to maintain your vibration right it makes it very difficult for you to maintain your frequency yeah confirmation and healer of the ages so this is like your empathy constantly being um like tampered with you could be dealing with people that they don't really ask you if you have the mental capacity to listen to their their listen to them unload their feelings or their emotions onto you. They may not even ask you if you you know if you're trying to give advice or if you're trying to use your empathy. It feels like just I'm just going to dominate the situation and do it myself. They may use intimidation tactics, you know make you think um something may be difficult to do and i feel like with this guarded energy this person is having a negative effect on you i feel like this is a person i mean for some of you it may be a job or what you do for work uh with stalking intimidation and confrontation you may feel unsafe where you wherever you go um because you're not sure who's watching you you're not sure who's on your side or something to that degree i'm starting to belch again you may be being watched okay i don't know about some type of security system excuse me starting to belch oh my god i could be tired as well i just got tired all of a sudden Hmm, Spare, what's your channel message to Taurus? Because whatever this is, it makes you feel like you keep ignoring something. Or you're unable to hear your guides or receive like the foresight about, about what's happening. They're, the messages keep getting distorted. Someone is projecting their energy into your home. I don't feel like this is your person. I feel like this is the energy that you do not want around you. And you're trying to ignore it because if you look at this car this person is looking off into the distance and then we have Archangel Michael here that is protecting you so someone is watching your back Archangel Michael is watching your back at this time oh wow someone is this is so crazy that this came out I swear to you okay Nagus let me cover this. I almost forgot. Lovers, erotica, sensuality. Someone is trying to tap into your sexual energy. Like straight up. Someone's trying to tap into your sexual energy. Um... I'm also getting something about intertwined here. Sensuality. Someone may be very, um, like very keen to know when you when you tap when your sexual energy is activated, your kundalini energy is activated. Someone knows your body. They know your mind. They know your soul. They know when you get into this frequency. Um. Yeah, they just know when you feeling yourself, when you feeling good. 
it feels like you got a spy or someone's spying on your connection. I'm going to put the card over here because it's all R-rated. I'm going to turn it over. But it's the lovers, the sensuality. Someone's trying to look into your future with somebody. They're trying to look into who you love, who you're talking to. Um, and they're trying to, like insert themselves as if the messages are about them and you may be may be very difficult for you to discern between the two you would have to really know what you know when you know it because this energy is very very strange i don't even know how they're able to do this let me see <laughs> okay so i'm gonna have to break this down and grind this up to really get the overall message but um Archangel Michael is protecting you. You may be sexually connecting with someone, um, making plans, telepathically communicating with this chessboard here. These are moves to be played. All right, we have Piscean energy as well. But with the lovers, this is telling me that there's a heightened sense of creativity. There's a heightened sense of psychic sensitivity as well. And you may not be able to really capture or hone in on this creative abundance that's coming to you because love may be a distraction here. It may be delaying you from taking action. And it's because so many people can tell that your sexual energy is heightened. You know what I'm saying? So the Krispy Kreme light is on. That's what this is. I'm going to sum it up for you, Taurus. You are a fresh baked dozen <laughs> glazed donuts out here. And I don't mean the ones from Dunkin' Donut. I'm talking about that the, the red light is on. I'm hearing red light special. All through the night. <laughs> All your if you want it tonight i'll give you the red light special all through night yeah someone's trying to get you to take action um what in the evan almighty is going on all right so let's see nagas all right because this is in reverse so if this was upright an ancient Hindu and Buddhist text speak of the semi, um, semi-divine serpent beings called Nagas, which is Sanskrit for serpent. The Nagas are described as powerful, very beautiful, and highly advanced snake reptoid beings. They are advantageous to humans while also dangerously fearsome and temperamental if provoked ancient icona um iconography depicts the nagas with upper human faces and torsos and snake bodies from the waist down nagas is male and naginas is female some suggest the nagas could be a human hybridies genotype from the alpha draconian race like the alpha draconians nagas have the capacity to shape shift into human form hmm. the nagas full form is fourth dimensional and not visible to the average low third vibrational human sensory perception the hindu epic poem the Mahabharata makes references to the Nagas. Many ancient um, iconographies and texts around the world depict powerful serpent beings, including, I don't know where the hell that is, from Mexico, the rainbow so serpent from Aboriginal Australia and Greek god Glycon and the goddess Achidna. Being sub, um, being subterian, the Nagas refer to mostly, prefer to mostly reside in the deep, dense oceanic waters, or subterranean citadels, away from human populations. They are highly protective of their private environments, unlike the terra firma walking, talking humanoids. 
Nagas are more comfortable inhabiting the subtle, sensual energy fields where they fluidly generate their inbuilt elixir, excuse me, their nectar of immortality from the depths of the ocean. So this is giving me definitely merman and merwoman vibes, okay? Hmm. You may be falling in, in love with a being or a being may be falling in love with you. It's going to be a supernatural being. Um, we got love, fun, action. Or there could be a, a being working closely with you. Um, I also heard something about like new gifts. You may have like a new being that wants to connect with you. Um, this is interesting. <laughs> This is super interesting. Wow. When you don't listen, though, I get this vibe when someone feels like you're playing, like you don't, like you're not picking up on what they're telling you. This being can be a little bit of a reactor. Okay. So let's say, for example, it feels like a very short temper um, or tolerance when you're being stubborn and you're not listening. Now, this could be a person, but with Archangel Michael here, this is pretty much telling me that this person is being allowed in some capacity or has been allowed in some capacity to connect with you. Now, when your guides or your angels allows a certain being or person to connect with you, it's always for a reason. We have the angel of love, okay? We have Raphael energy here. We have Oshun energy. We have Shango energy. So we're talking about heavy attraction. We're talking about, um, excuse me. We're talking about a good time. We're talking about a lot of fun. This is in, all these things are pleasure, love fun sunshine and love again all of things are pleasurable and with archangel michael allowing these connections to come in I'm, I'm seeing plenty of fish with this fish here allowing certain certain people to be able to catch your attention or grasp your attraction or for them to be like super attracted to you in some capacity it's never for no reason. The question is, what are your angels trying to show you? What are they trying to teach you? And why are they allowing this to happen? It's never for no reason. That's what they're telling me. There may be someone coming into your life that's that's intended to help intensify your psychic abilities the more you play around with this person in the spiritual realm it's like having a spiritual partner you become more clairvoyant this person as well may be becoming more clairvoyant because of their connection to your love you're awakening something in this person this could be your energy you can be a descendant of this type of energy um and you're practicing working with it as well not everyone has the ability to connect with certain beings or certain beings may not gravitate to certain um, humans or things like that because they don't possess like the lineage or the contracts or different things like that of assistance. Because with all of the Atlantean energy, it feels like something that was descended they're like coming back around to help with the ascension process from the Piscean age into the Aquarian age, which tells me these two cards remind me of Aquarius. You could have Aquarius North Node energy with this uncertainty, distrust and guarded. This is giving me like that super independence needing to be free type of energy. Feeling your best when you're able to go about be who with who you want to be with freely date who you want to date freely like there's this desire to um into the unknown yeah there's this desire to to see what's out there in the world okay like very curious energy it could be very rebellious or you have a hard head um 
This person and you are meant to communicate with each other at a distance while no while not in contact and it's supposed to do some type of activation on the both of you. I'm just seeing like iron sharpening iron with this energy. And it's like you guys are intertwined or interwoven in some capacity. Now, I think the hard part for you, Taurus, is not being able to know for sure. Which means this energy that's connecting with you or this person that's connecting with you that Archangel Michael is overseeing or guiding with this connection is... This person is teaching you, Taurus, how to have blind faith. This person is teaching you how to how to trust your clairvoyant visions and confirmations without doubting it. Every time you get a confirmation and it makes you think about this person, you could be in the store, you hear this a specific song, or there's just certain things that that just create this aha moment. This person is constantly hitting your G spot. They're hitting that psychic button. They tickling your um pinot gland out here okay <laughs> this person know how to hit the spot all right we have alpha centaurians reside at the um centaurus constellation located between lupus and vela constellations it is said alpha centaurians will only make contact with humans during specific comic timings like I said, and only with humans that have developed enough conscious awareness to not agitate the higher violet frequency bandwidth they are accustomed to. So, yeah, so this person is accustomed to being at this frequency at this heightened level. And it's not to be agitated or fucked with. Sources suggest Alpha Zotorians are intolerant of disrespect. I told y'all there was a being that was like, um, lack no patience. Okay. Intolerant to disrespect and overly idealized fantasies that are not in keeping with natural law. Ooh. Talk about a spiritual whooping, okay? They stand 5.5 to 8 feet in height with a humanoid appearance and some aquatic type features and organs. They have webbed fingers and toes. Their flesh is usually pale bluish with a soft, smooth, scale-like quality. Many have long hair. Their eyes are large in proportion, bulging and roundish. They usually have an athletic build. Visitors typically wear simple, flowing clothes. They are very straightforward and direct communicators when negotiating, yet respectful. All Alpha Satorians are vegetarian or vegan with a strict diet. They also cannot bear Earth's intense sunlight. So I am getting like cold, cold, cold blooded or colder climates. I'm also picking up energy of lighter skin complexion or tone. Some alpha centaurians occupy small deep ocean regions on earth and are often associated with Argathan USO phen um, phenomena. They are highly advanced and are strong allies with Syrians, Pleiadians, and Venusians. All right, so I'm picking up Scorpio, Pluto energy, Pisces. Very interesting. So with this card, like I said, there's there's tactics being being done here. Uh, there's something that you're gonna. There's a reward in hindsight. To whatever this negotiation is. Whatever you've been spe speculating on. Around some type of plans. Or when something's going to happen. Or if you've been focusing too much. On someone's plan. In the past. They want you to stop focusing on that. Like they're, they're saying like stop focusing on. When it's going to happen. Because it. It's they're, they're pretty much saying that 
when you get disappointed about timing, when you get disappointed about what the plan is and wanting to know directly, it's something about your attachment to the expectation of being direct. You lose a lot of wonder, mystery, and awe when you have to know everything, right? It's really hard to surprise you, Taurus. There's something about this that's really hard to surprise you. And then when it's like when you don't know what to expect or you don't know how something is going to play out where you can hold someone accountable, <laughs> you want to be able to hold someone accountable to the point where if you have to sue them, you can. <laughs> but yeah, you're not going to be able to do that. This could also be someone that you may not be able to control. That's also what I'm picking up here. You may feel like this person is cold hearted, cold blooded. You could be the same way because we have two people in this card. All right. I got your cold chills. Now, what I wanted to know was with Nagas in reverse, this is telling me. Uh, frigid sexual frustration, celibacy, third party situation, abstinence, temperamental, sexual issues, lower chakra blockages, sexual inappropriateness. Okay. So, there's clearly some celibacy going on, sexual frustration feeling irritated i feel like someone is teasing you spiritually i pick up i'm picking up on this teasing energy the objective is to to use their telekinesis to be able to lower your guards but you're unwavering in this in this type of you're being rigid Okay, when it comes to expressing this unconditional love, you're learning about unconditional love right now. This person has been assigned to you to teach you about unconditional love and devotion. Archangel Michael is overseeing the connection um, to make sure that the both of you play fair and that y'all don't fuck each other up. <laughs> what? confirmation angel number at the bottom of the deck we have um aquarius libra gemini it's like just when you think you you got it figured out about who what and how this is going to play out the messages change again it's very confusing to hold on to something when you're being told multiple different things and i don't think it's being told like the story isn't playing out in the con oh the story isn't playing out in the sequential order that you're perceiving so you're measuring time as in the 3d time so if you listen to this video now you're measuring time as soon being the next couple of months, as soon being, well, the prediction, prediction is for this month. So the message came out in this month. So there's something that has to be happening now. You're also perceiving time from, if you hear something familiar in your mind, you're perceiving it as, oh, I've already been through that. That part's already done. I'm on this phase. Now, yes, we all are on different timelines, but... Your perception is being distorted on purpose. And the reason why it's being distorted is to get you to become aware of your fixation to timing and control and how it's just a defense mechanism to protect yourself from failing in love to protect yourself from making the wrong action you've leveraged your sexual energy by not giving it to anyone um now i'm not saying that you have to give it to this person but i feel like many of you are restricting yourselves because if you were 
to give it away, you probably would naturally want to go in this person's direction. And with both of these cards showing me third eye energy, foresight, you want this person to come towards you. You want this person to come and see about you. You want this person to offer. Um, Because this is like energies on different sides of the different sides of the bed the couch yeah because you have the tall whites okay so i'm getting a theme i'm getting a theme here i feel like the masculine energy is missing the feminine energy longing for the feminine energy Yeah, we have tall whites. It is unclear exactly where the tall whites originated from. Some suggest they may be Pleiadian, Electra, or Lyran lineage branch. Um, they are tall, humanoid in appearance. Their thin, chalky, pale white skin makes them look almost albino. Their eyes are proportionally double the size of humans and are blue in color with young before changing to indigo pinkish with age. Oh, I get it. Okay. Like in the Nagas energy, it keeps changing because this person is changing quite frequently depending on who when you're tapping into this person's frequency. You're not the only person that they're teaching. You're not the only person that they're astral traveling to. You're not the only person that they're assisting when it comes to love and relationships in their heart chakra. You have this being, this person being taking out resonate is also assisting multiple people learn different lessons because it's a frequency, right? Which means anyone tapping into that realm or that bandwidth, this person is responsible for, um, is responsible for assisting them. This person has a purpose and their assistance is to get into their minds, is to discover what it is that they want uh, strategically. Create some type of obstacle course So this person may get a lot of attention or a lot of people that want to stand out. A lot of people that want to get this person's attention. So when they try to come to this level, if they haven't, you saw how in the beginning it said pretty much. They're very in, intolerable, all right? And when, when it, and the energy is intolerable, that means, like, you can't be up here with these people because you haven't earned it, okay? You haven't earned that ability to be able to hang out in Habo Hotel in the in the seventh dimension. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, because that's what it said. And this part is definitely the darker realm, like going deeper and deeper and deeper. This goes deep. A whole nother dimension, I'm telling you. What did it say? They will only make contact with humans during specific comic timings. All right. Davy Jones was sell the seas right and he went deep into the ocean and then at a certain time of year he was able to walk the land so this person may be they may work very hard or they're a workaholic um they have very little timing away from something that they do so when they are taking off from work or whatever they do for a living um They only want to make contact or they only want to deal with certain people that have developed enough consciousness to be aware because this person doesn't like to be agitated. 
they don't like their frequency being fucked with Taurus this could be you as well you may not like your higher violet frequency to be agitated by other low density vibrations because you you have a you have to maintain this frequency for a long period of time to manifest manifest something you need your emotions and your focus Mm -hmm. but one thing about these um centurions they don't tolerate disrespect and if you start over romanticizing or over idealizing the fantasies and breaking universal laws, they definitely don't like that either. Yeah. So when someone starts to sell a pipe dream and they are trying to masquerade and pretend like they're one way but they're really not these beings don't like that it brings out another side of them they don't like that type of disrespect now this is all about dimensions and frequencies that i that i'm picking up here i'm also getting this energy of like that athletic energy oh. someone's territorial you're not listening Taurus you're being stubborn um I feel like you may be suspicious um, you may have your some suspicion about who this person could be, but it's hard to really put your finger on it. Okay. You may be trying to ignore someone so you can attune or tune into this frequency, but it seems to be very difficult to tune into it. We have 77 here. 77 could be significant. I just got a cold chill. Let me see something. We got three cards talking about love. One more spirit. Strategy. I'm telling you. You are someone's goal. Taurus um I'm seeing you focusing on your goals as well so your body goals your fitness goals your your everyday goals love is gonna come but in the meantime you have some achievements that you need to perfect when it comes to your psychic abilities um this could be you taking a clairvoyant class mediumship tarot any type of something that's gonna strengthen your sixth sense we have Archangel Metatron. So we're also talking big manifestation and um, doing it something well and being like a trailblazer, trendsetter, investing in yourself to achieve some type of some type of destiny for yourself first is going to unlock this door for you. But I feel like until this door is unlocked, you're meant to sexually connect on a more deeper intimate level with someone um sexually I've, i'm gonna be honest with you for some of you guys i see you having um, a strictly sexual relationship with someone and it leads to something deeper and something more um for those of you it's like the the sex that you have with this person you're, you're having way more fun you're able to get more things done it's like the the way that your bodies and your soul and your spirit intertwines unlocks you you in, in another whole dimension okay yeah but in order to unlock this inside of you you got to believe and you got to attune um you have to earn it that's what it is you do this is a different class all in itself 
I mean, look at this pillar. Taurus. But there's a guide overseeing this. This manifestation. Something is manifesting. Me and Mr. Ron can have some uh, I get this feeling like you have other energies that are also attracted to you. Um, this person's frequency of communication is going to be totally different. This person is not c picking up the phone, calling you, speaking to you directly. They're telepathically um, communicating with you. And when this person comes in, uh, shit, they're coming to unload. When they come in, they're coming to unload. This person thinks about this often. This may not be what you want to hear. Um, maybe it wasn't what you wanted to hear in the past. And um, it feels like going separate ways. This is a breakup here. Um, with the five of swords and the page of cups in reverse. This is to me is a, a breakup because the relationship was just too much. When I taste healer, baby, I still see it. Every time I hear that song, it reminds me of like you receiving some type of bad news that you're not ex that you were not expecting now however long this happened in the past that's just what i'm seeing um and feeling as if someone made this decision not from their heart but from some type of argument all right i'm also seeing that scene out of the notebook uh, where they had like a fight and then one person lets the other person go and you you leave on bad terms or you leave with unfinished business I heard cats out the bag so someone's coming in to tell you the truth about something or to give you the clarity around some type of question that you may have been having yeah. I get three cards for Archangel Michael. Who? So pretty much right now, um, your kindness that was your kindness that was taken for weakness, and we got another moon energy. <clears throat> Things that were deceptive, things that left you feeling feeling as if you weren't sure what door to take or who is who and what is what. Someone revealed something to you or something was uncovered. Some type of secret was revealed by Archangel Michael. One thing's for sure, Archangel Michael is letting this person know that they got no control over here. You have no control over Taurus. You have no control over what you can conceal. Um, it's like there's nothing this person can hide from you. Archangel Michael, this guy won't allow this person to be with you. They won't allow this person to conceal anything from you so if they're having if they have bad intentions you're going to be, you're going to know about it if this person got any secrets in regards to like being corrupt um having being excessively greedy whatever their intentions are archangel michael's like i got you this person has no control over you you have nothing to fear um, 
I also feel like Archangel Michael is keeping someone away and out of this spiritual connection and the spiritual union. You have a spiritual connection and a spiritual union with someone. There's third party energies that are being left behind. Those energies are refusing to accept the legal the legal orders, some of y'all may be getting restraining orders, y'all may be really pulling back your generosity, creating boundaries, no contact with these types of energies, third party energies, you and your person. But Archangel Michael is the only thing that these people can get a message about is their own reflection. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That is all that they're able to see into. And when they think that it's giving them messages about you, Taurus, all that's happening on the spiritual realm is like no matter what zodiac sign, someone could be watching for your zodiac sign, right, Taurus? And as they're watching it, they will feel like it's you. But the mirror will be turned on them that evil eye that's just that investigative look stare spiritually that this these these third party energies are giving y'all they think is you but the message is really about them it's it's weird and that's why there's so much confusion because These are people that are refusing to accept a breakup. They're refusing to let go of a relationship or a connection. And this is why it has to happen this way. Because y'all have people that do not want to give y'all up. Unbreak my heart. Say you love me again. Undo this hurt you caused when you walked out the door. You walked out of my life. Uncry these tears. <laughs> I cry so many nights. Unbreak my heart, sweet baby. Come back and say you want me. So anyone that's coming towards you, begging for you back, begging to be with you, that's a red flag. And you that's, the, that's not the person that this spiritual connection is speaking about. That's a person that um, their journey is coming to a close. You've successfully outgrown that connection and they're trying to keep your heart guarded so you won't be able to reach that frequency with that soul connection and receive synchronicities and confirmations they're trying to keep you irritated and reactive and folk and worried about money because in order to get to that bandwidth that ultra that ultraviolet frequency that was coming out in the beginning you're going to need to tap back into your um, your kundalini energy, your sexual, your sensuality, your sexuality. But every time you turn that light on and you're really starting to do what you love and really feel yourself, you know, I don't care if even if that's masturbating or dancing or doing something that really connects to you where you're not giving it away to these energies outside these third party energies, it allows you to channel it and make it that that chord even more stronger with the person you have that spiritual connection with. Um, so yeah, these connections are going to come in and they're going to, you know, you're going to notice that when you de deny them, um, they're going to say things to try to get you to become upset, triggered, um, and it's because they want you like, who do you think you are? You think you're just special and you don't even have to say anything or do anything. It's just a matter of your aura your your sexual kundalini energy is really radiating beyond just your your backyard it's out there in the ethers okay and they coming in to fight because you're rejecting them and with all this energy look at this the confidence look at that the confidence here the independent confidence here is it's just is sexy, is hot, is handsome. 
it's powerful i feel like this this connection that you have spiritually with someone is helping you tap into your confidence and your power you're gonna start feeling inspired to do things you haven't wanted to do in a long time i don't care if that's something as simple as fix your hair up or just date again and that doesn't mean that you have to date and, and, and connect with people. But I mean, like, go out and have fun. All right. Treat yourself. That's what I'm hearing. You're going to have a lot of people that want to invest in you. Taurus, you're hot shit. Okay. Planning for the future. Everything that this person is doing um, with journey here and two of wands. I've been making plans. Hmm. I've been making plans for you. I admit it. Somebody may have not been into monogamy, uh, but somebody is coming to make it right with you. Mm -hmm. I get this energy of either they were dealing with someone that was extremely pessimistic and cynical or... You're the place to go when you need healing. I'm telling you, just like I said in the beginning, when people may be drawn to you and you're like, what is, why is people calling me? Why are people looking for me? It's because your something about your energy is just transformative. Okay. Something about your, your entire aura, your glow, whatever is transformative. You're going to attract by the, by the, in the droves. Yes unexpected pop-ups unexpected you're gonna notice that even children are drawn to you it's that same um like when a baby is first born and it's trying to find its mother's milk it's instinctual that's that raw creator divine feminine energy and that energy is activated inside of you and if it wasn't activated before spiritually connecting with this individual Oh man, chemical combustion. You hear me? Chemical combustion. Yeah, you're not gonna be single much longer. Mhm. Mm I keep picking on up on the King of Pentacles in reverse. You're gonna have someone that. Is going to try to take you off the market. Eight of Wands. Who is this King of Pentacles in reverse? They're going to view you as someone that's extremely gullible. Because you overthink too much and, and things like that. And they're going to they're gonna think that they can possess you and, and hold on to you in a particular way. This may be a new person that some of y'all may meet. Um... Or this is your energy. This could be your energy as well, Taurus, because that's the king of pentacles twice. This could be another Taurus that you're dealing with. Or another Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Or, you know what, the placements can be your first house. Could be like Taurus Virgo Capricorn. So that's Taurus Sun, right? I'm also picking up 8th house energy and 7th house. Your seventh house in your chart is being activated which is like unexpected predictions around meeting the one now there's two king of pentacles here so for some of you you're gonna have one person that's the real deal and the other person that's a fraud now when you meet one of these people you're you may be a little unsure about them because they're a show off and they may have broke break broke your heart before um but you can like move on to calmer waters with this person now this other person that's been holding back they are coming in very fast so i feel like this is going to be someone that pursues you a lot faster than this other person this other person they are they're a slow pursuer okay 
they could have Scorpio placements in their Venus. And then this second person over here is very forward and direct. When they see something, they go after it. They want it, but they prefer gullible options. They prefer people that get put up a fight. I don't know. I get this energy of like putting up a fight, but they're like a scammer. Someone's a scammer here and they're going to try to portray themselves to be just like this other person to get your walls down. They about to give it everything that they got. All right. They about to give it everything that they got to get you back. Even if they got to make you mad, they will. Even if they have to utilize other people, they will. Failure is not an option for this person. Um, they, they're constantly trying to control a situation and that's why they keep getting bad luck. They're pretending to be like this stable financial person that wants to support you, but they're really like a king of wands energy. This is someone definitely that you've ended things with officially. You've healed from this person because it was toxic. I feel like this person has a cheating addiction or addiction to cheating. There's an opportunity for a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Now, here's the thing here. Okay. When this person comes in and assert themselves, that's when this person comes into. They're telepathically inter trying to intercept this person in everything that they do. So, at times, I feel like your person has to kind of like switch roles and fight fire with fire. They got to like get down and dirty with this other person because this other person is relentless. Yeah. So, I feel like occasionally, you know, you may pick up on different actions or different, you know, they may say certain, they may energetically embody certain types of actions. And it's because they're throwing shots at this other individual. So, like the etheric shots would show up like, oh, yeah, that's why we fucking in the spiritual realm, you know, and it's to hurt this person's ego and things like that. Or there's so, so much going. Because <laughs> look at that. It's a way to get under someone's skin. Okay, which kind of makes them appear to be tapping into the same type of vibration as this person. But this person is saying, like, you want me to protect you, right? You want me to uh, protect you, defend you in, in your honor. But you feel like I'm not supposed to take on the attributes of a dark energy in order to do that. This person is saying, I'm willing to be whoever I need to be to protect you from people like this or from energies like this. If that means that I have to be the bad guy or the villain, I will. That's how much they care about you. Whoa. Okay. This person ain't gonna stop until it's done done. Um, I feel like They're saying, like, if they have th this person better get their shit together, accept the loss, or otherwise they'll end them themselves. What? I'm telling you. They're saying they're going to win. There is no competition. You, This person, like I said, they sometimes they're in this possessive energy. Um, and that possessive energy is to combat some other third party energy that's always trying to intercept their messages. They can sense, smell this person like a hound, um, hounding you, desperate for your sexual energy, your love. Um, damn. They're saying as well, like these people, they run, they run away and they accept defeat and then they come back and they try to come back in a different type of way. <sighs> they try to get you to empathize with them, Taurus. That's what it is. That's the trick that they play on you. Like, oh, I'm, you know, I got a lot going on. Can you just help me? This is what I this is what I see here. These people are out of touch. 
Nine of Swords. And they are worried. They're seeing shit. Energy's off. They have... A lot of energies are not really able to tap into this. They're losing their mind. Every time someone tries to read into you, this spiritual connection that you have, they start having bad dreams. Every time they try to look into your life, they start fucking feeling some type of way, Taurus. This is the type of shit where it's not just back, backfiring. It's consuming them. It's consuming them. They can't stop watching. They can't stop checking on it. They can't stop looking into it. It's almost like they have a tendency of not being able to, like, turn the phone off. It's like a siren. Um, they're falling under their own their own projections that they project onto you becomes their own spell that they pretty much inflict on themselves. Y'all are ultimate mirrors out here. So whatever... I'm hearing that saying whatever whatever is thrown at me bounces off of me and sticks onto you like glue or some shit like that. Let's get the um final messages for you, Taurus. Because I do feel like this spiritual soulmate counterpart energy that you have in the spiritual realm, they're protecting you with Archangel Michael. And they're protecting this is they may be deleting messages as they send them spiritually. They're not rereading them or re-listening to them. We have butterfly rebirth. Yeah. You can reinvent yourself. Transformative. What did I tell you? Open to the rewards of change. You have brilliance to share with the world. Love every part of your journey. And then you have magic, dragonfly, and good luck. Come on. Dragonfly, magic. I embrace my transformation. I courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is in me. I am brilliant and I am blessed. Ladybug. You are a bright energy. Let worry go and be happy here and now. Feel good about being a love, a loving and colorful you. You bless the world with color and good luck. Taurus, I'm sending you lots of love, wisdom, and guidance on your journey, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.